in this video we'll talk about preload and afterload and its significance in cardiac pharmacology okay so preload whenever we talk about preload immediately the word volume should pop up in your mind okay preload is the volume and afterload is the force Uh, now see volume how do you measure preload preload as per definition is the stretching of cardiac myocyte okay now the cardiac myocyte stretch can be known with the help of sarcomere length so this is the normal sarcomere length in a, myo in a cardiac um, uh, myocyte and whenever the myocyte is stretched the sarcomere length will be like this okay now see you cannot ascertain the sarcomere length in an intake heart in, uh, in a patient you cannot ascertain the sarcomere length so for that purpose we rely on another parameter that is called ventricular and diastolic volume a ventricular and diastolic volume in a patient can be ascertained with the help of echocardiography or by placing a catheter in the heart or pulmonary artery okay so these are the two common methods for which ventricular and diastolic volume can be known by which and ventricular and diastolic volume can be known okay so preload is uh, say this is a heart preload uh, we have venous return to the right atrium Whenever there is increase in the venous return, say in case of IV infusion, preload will be more. Okay, it will it will it will create more. Uh, it will it will create more volume in the ventricles. So there will be more stretching of the ventricular wall. So more preload. And second, we have. Say for example, in any case where the venous return is reduced to the heart in such case we can say uh, such drug will cause or such uh, agents will cause decrease in the preload say for example drugs like diuretics furosemide diuretics decreases the blood volume isn't it blood volume so as a result of which the venous return to the heart will be reduced and hence reduction in the preload so next concept is the afterload afterload is the force or the resistance the heart must overcome to circulate blood to the system okay say it is hence it is mostly so for example again this is a heart this is a left ventricle from here the blood should go to the system and here we have aorta isn't it so if the aortic walls are thickened in case such as atherosclerosis in such case the heart has to work even harder to pump the blood into the system so we see preload after sorry afterload is increased by atherosclerosis okay number one and number two whenever there is uh, and in no case so for example in in atherosclerosis okay now in case of cardiac pharmacology and when specifically when you talk about heart failure we need to decrease preload and afterload okay so decrease in the preload can be achieved with the help of drugs such as diuretics that's why you see cardiac patients uh, are often given diuretics to reduce preload okay how preload reduce how diuretics now how diuretics reduce preload see diuretics will decrease the blood volume and i have already told you decrease in the blood volume will cause decrease in the venous return to the heart as a result of which less volume in the ventricles and less stretching of the cardiac myocyte so reduction in the preload and in case of heart failure in case of uh, patients with uh, heart failure the 
cardiac walls are already stretched okay there is no further room to stretch in such case if the blood volume to the heart is more then um, there is no space for further stretching okay it will again create problem for the patient for such case we need to decrease the preload that's why you see in base in many cases heart failure heart failure patients in also patients with heart diseases are often uh, advised to reduce the salt intake because increase in the salt intake uh, will cause increase in the blood volume blood volume and same is the case with patients with hypertension also because of osmosis it will draw more blood into the circulation hence increase in the blood pressure okay this is about preload and in case of afterload so preload is the uh, say for uh, in for how we need to uh, so what are the drugs that decreases preload one and the most common is the diuretics okay and second we have vasodilators okay such as nitrates so these are the drugs which the um, we have nitrates and second we have vasodilators example is the nitrate next uh, let's come to the afterload afterload in case of afterload we need to if you really want to reduce the afterload we need to decrease the resistance in the heart so or we need to dilate the arteries so that can be achieved with the help of arterio dilators Hmm. Example we have hydrolysis. Okay. So uh, this is all about uh, preload, afterload, and uh, your uh, its significance in heart failure.